As a scholar of global environmental governance, I study institutions. What are the institutional arrangements that governments create, that civil society uses, to design and implement policy at a global level? As part of this board, what I'm learning is about individuals. Who are the individuals that design and implement policy? What motivates them? Who are the individuals that advise them? What motivates them? How do they move in the world? And so as a result of this unique experience, I'm learning about the interface between individuals and institutions, about the impact of individuals and institutions. The mandate of our board is to talk about the science policy interface. My own personal research mandate within this, my own personal uh, benefit in terms of where my thinking is going is the, inter the individual institutions interface, which is a unique, this is a unique moment. The Secretary General is the representative of an institution, yet he's an individual who had the leadership to create this board and to empower it with, with certain authority. The Director General of UNESCO is a representative of an institution. But as an individual, she led us through a process of collective thinking, of collective deliberation. So I'm learning about the individual institutions interface, but I'm also learning about myself. I'm learning about how I learn and how all of us as individuals in this process are acting also as a group, as a group of scientists and a group of citizens of global citizens who are concerned about the fate of the world, about sustainability, and are thinking together. So we learn through listening and we learn through communication. And I think all of us will emerge out of this process as better listeners, hopefully better communicators, who would be able to bring a new narrative and bring the global public with us in this new and exciting endeavor.